I kind of went through quite a bit at that time and I think it, that, that was like a make or break for me. When I make a decision, I have to make sure it's certain. I didn't want to get it wrong. Like I say, if I turn a blind eye to it and say, well, I'm right, you're wrong. And I'll be honest here, if I did do that, I, would do, I don't think I'd be sat at this table, would you? choice and say come hell or high water i'm going to be this then you should not be surprised when you are that and i gave my soul to this game there's nothing more to risk is obvious to climb because it's there it's a mountain personal risk you can't see it. no one can see it but you never give up on dream well, I look deep within myself and ask myself how much I want it, what am I here for? Don't lose that desire. I want to unleash the beat. It's when I sat here in this crowd, US 93, and saw all these guys, you know, I realised it's there. It's there for the taking if I put the time in. Be true to the game. Because the game will be true to you. If you try to shortcut the game, then the game's going to shortcut you. Welcome to the game. Today we've got Mohamed Waka, audiologist from MWE Awards Removal. Thank you for joining me. Thank you very much for having me today. Yeah, yeah third taken. We got there in the end. We got there in yeah. the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Never fail, never give up. Yeah, exactly. Hundred <laughs> percent, man. So come, let's start in about. Uh, let's go back. So you know your childhood. Okay. Before you became an audiologist. Yeah. Let's just talk about that and how your kind of upbringing was like and what kind of piqued your interest really. So, if uh, coming from a, uh, a family, to be honest, I've come from a very big family, my mm. So, uh, uh, plenty of siblings, uh, big household. Obviously, uh, growing up, we always lived in one house, and we had a lot of extended family. So, we lived with our cousins, our yeah, aunties, yeah, all yeah. in one house. Mm. You know how the typical Asian yeah. families are like. <laughs> big so, family and that. You know, it's nice. Mm. Obviously, we had uh, a very, I would say, adventurous childhood as well. Uh, and as you can imagine, uh, it's very busy as well. So uh, my granddad actually was a dentist. So I think growing up, oh, we were, sure. I, at the back of my head, I always wanted to kind of pursue uh, some sort of medical career. Okay. Uh, and I think that was the same for most of my brothers as well. Mm. Uh, and so growing up, we've always had a kind of a, a role, role, role model to look up to. Mm. Uh, it was all those, always just picking out those tools from the drawer yeah, from my yeah. granddad and just playing about with them or mixing about mm. like his Play-Doh, but yeah, yeah, it was yeah. all for those moulding for the teeth and, and mm. whatnot. But like I said, as growing up, so it wasn't something that was out the picture. But like I said, uh, you learn quite a lot. I think the older you get, having the right support, especially with my dad. Uh, Marshall, he was always uh, telling us to stay focused and have mm. uh, our, our prayers, our education, mm. and the way we were with people. Uh, he said a lot about you, and I think uh, growing up as well as in a what I would say a religious household where our, f our foundations were to pray, to respect people, to follow the teachings mm. of uh, all the pious people, mm. uh, the pious ones in the books, and. General upbringing was generally quite good. Uh, I would say fairly strict as well. Mm. So growing up, we were we were told we were allowed to do certain things, and we weren't allowed to do certain things, which were not only restricted uh, generally, but from my religion as well. So it was having those foundations embedded in us mm. at the very start. So I think we learned a bit of boundaries uh, very very early on mm. in our lives, uh, and when I say our lives. I'm talking about our si my siblings as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, like you look like holistically we, in it. Yeah, we, 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 we holist like you said, mm. we were one. We were one. Uh, so growing up together, we had the same sort of upbringing. Mm. And uh, so, yeah, uh, growing, obviously, we went to state schools. Mm. Uh, are, we you went, the, are you the oldest? No, no, no. So I have... Oh. Uh, Two elder siblings, okay. and then I have a few younger siblings so, as well. Okay, so, so you're like in the I'm middle. I'm like the middle, yeah, I'm the middle yeah, child. Yeah, so the middle. Yeah. you know how it is with middle, middle child mm. syndrome. But Alhamdulillah, I think. Yeah. Uh, Do you feel like you're kind of left out? Because like, most people, like you see the meme and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The middle child or the one that's. that's kind of like, I, I get yeah. it a lot. Like, like me, I'm the oldest, but yeah, yeah. I feel like well, but my, my middle brother, I don't know, like to, in my family, don't really get. Missed that one, but yeah. what about for you? To, for to, to be honest with you, I'll be honest here. I, I know I mess about and I joke about it, being yeah. a child, but Alhamdulillah, I think we've we've always been uh, as brothers. We've been very mm. collective, and I think that that again goes back to the way my parents brought us up in terms of stick always stick together yeah, yeah. and do things together, encourage each other, support each other. Mm. 
uh, we've seen it, and to be honest, growing up, you see a lot more where a lot of people are dividing on terms which are materialistic, yeah, like money, mm. uh, fame. Yeah, which yeah. at the end of the day, yeah. how I see it is, doesn't matter how much you have, doesn't matter how much you make, mm. we're still human. Yeah, and at the end of the day, we come with. At the end of the day, we came. We come with nothing, and yeah, we exactly. come with nothing. Yeah, you understand? Uh, it's a, what. Mm, it's what 100%. we leave behind. The legacy we mm. leave behind, and in terms of how people remember us in a, in a good light, and what we can take with us in the hereafter as mm. well. You understand? Yeah. So yeah. it's in, in that from that point of view. To be honest with you, yeah, I wouldn't say I've ever felt like the middle child okay, in that yeah. way. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. because we've been much less so close, mm. and we still are till this day. It's kind of made us all yeah. feel like we're, we're special in our own mm. way. You understand? Yeah. We all have, we're all different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not the same, mm. but we're all special in our own mm. way. But talk to me about your older brother just quickly. So, so you know, in terms of like, so you're saying your granddad was a role model, but yep. like, were your older brothers? So my older brother, brother mashallah, he's a teacher. Uh, 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 he's actually a mashallah. lecturer now. Uh, mm, he started mashallah. off doing, uh, he, well, he switched career, not fully, but to a point where he started off as an aeronautical engineer. Okay. Uh, he'd done a few years there. Yeah. Uh, worked for quite a, uh, Did he a few you? airlines. To be honest, Alhamdulillah, he was very supportive. Mm. Uh, always, to be honest, my brother, uh, in terms of that point of view, I always looked up to him. Mm. I knew if I ever needed advice about university or applying to mm. certain colleges or uh, choosing the subjects, yeah. I can always go to him as respective. So my dad would always be my first choice. Yeah, yeah. But no, uh, but it's important to have different hundred yeah. percent, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. when you say different, it makes it very sense. Like I said, my dad lived in a different generation, mm. but his principles were, were a bang mm. on. At the same time, because my brother was, uh, we're in the same generation, we grew yeah. up in the same generation. So I think from that point of view, yes, it was easy to speak to him when it came to what to go for, what to yeah, choose, yeah. and getting that extra mm. advice. Yeah, so yeah. now, alhamdulillah, he does lecturing. Mm. Uh, he's a lecturer, uh, Aston. Mm. Uh, with again, it's gone yeah. back to his discipline Marshall. engineering. Yeah, so yeah. He, when I say he switched, he done it only aeronautical engineering, went to maths and uh, a secondary uh, secondary school teacher mm. uh, in maths, uh, and he's gone to lecturing now. So mm. Alhamdulillah, like I said, he's taken an approach where he's gone mm. down the teaching route. Yeah, yeah. which uh, if if I'm mm. going to, to tell you something, I also did uh, tutoring, private okay. tutoring. Yeah. So I taught uh, what uh, what age age groups uh, from. No, what I mean, like what age were you? How old uh, are you? I've just finished my A-levels. Okay, so okay. When so I finished my A-levels, A-levels I started my university. Uh, so and then 19, I started doing tutoring. 19, 18, 19. 18, 19, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I started doing, uh, first I started doing GCC uh, mm. tutoring, then I did 11 plus, And then when I got to my end of my uh, degree, I started doing uh, A-level tutoring okay. as well. So it was something, to be honest, I, the, 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 I think when it comes to teaching someone something, it, it goes a long way. Because mm. like I said, they say education is for a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. So teach them good. So I think, and it's it's always that satisfaction yeah. as well. That, yeah. uh, no, but it's also like, you know how you're saying you got the foundation from your brothers. Like for me, I get my foundation from my father. Yep. Yeah, so I'm my dad and my granddad, because my granddad used to live with us. He's passed away now, but he used to live with us. Oh, so... For for me, it was that it was kind of like my granddad and my dad, and I'm the oldest in my family, so I, I feel like I gotta carry forward. Yeah. And same with the podcast is about like sharing knowledge. Like I get different people on, get the experiences, and then that's how I learn myself. Hundred percent. So is. what's important with you now is I'm glad that you never closed your door. You know, like once you got through and you made something at like 18, 19, it's a big thing. Hundred percent. Two, two, young. What age were people you saying? Year five. Yeah, five. Year yeah, six. Year yeah. six. Year Eleven six plus. Uh, up up to uh, mm. GCSEs and A levels mm. towards the end. Yeah, so let's go back a tiny bit because you touched upon it, but let's kind of nail it down. Go so ahead. you know when you're on about your foundations, and yep. then so what made you do the tutoring? Because see me, eighteen, nineteen, I'll, I'll feel like I'll be underqualified, even though like I've had good GCSEs and good yeah. A levels and stuff like that. But I feel like I'll be underqualified to do that. So, so, so what gave I'm, you the confidence? So to be honest, I think it's more on personality as well. I've always been a people's person, okay. like going uh, very, very outgoing, very bubbly, mm. uh, always want want to give my point of view, yeah. and not in a not in a egocentric point yeah. uh, perspective. Yeah. Just generally, like Just always want like to give a part, an extrovert, give my part. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Help out as much mm. as I can. Do every. For me, every little counts. Yeah, yeah. So even if I give, say, a word, mm. I say a few sentences, for me, that was a lot. You understand? Mm. It was like a, a give, even if you haven't got nothing. For me, I think that that just, that, that's my kind of personality where mm. I will give, 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 give. Yeah. Like I said, for me, uh, uh, something which always sticks with me is they say, uh, uh, the takers eat better, yeah. but the givers sleep better. Yeah, understand? Yeah, so yeah, for me, uh, yeah. I've, it's always been in me where yeah. I want to give, give, give. Because yeah. 
if, uh, my how I see at the end of the at the end of the day is at the, when you, if you do something with the a good intention, mm. the one above doesn't matter if anyone else sees yeah. it or acknowledges it, the one above us all, mm. and that's religious. That's from my own religious point mm. of view. Is mm. always going to give you back. Allah, you understand? Allah, Allah knows better. Mm. So, and like I said, Allah Lord never forgets. Mm. So for me, even if I do a small an ounce of goodness for someone mm. and I do it with the best of intentions, that that for me is. I've always had the mentality. To be honest, Alhamdulillah, it, I, I would say uh, earlier on as a child, you don't really think about stuff like that. But growing up, you, I, I would say starting uh, secondary school. Mm. Uh, doesn't translate. Talk to me about the switch. So yeah, you know when we're kids, we're kids like hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. As they get older, you exactly. Kind of, like, and as you want to be. To be honest, with you, I think growing up as well, I I've seen. Uh, a, a lot of things mm. uh, personal, from, from a personal point of view Which mm. kind of uh, uh, Molded my whole mindset okay. And I would say More so towards my End of my school years And when I say End of school I mean like the late uh, Secondary school years Year, mm. year 10, 11 yeah, yeah. Uh, I kind of went through Quite a bit at that time And I think it, that, that was like A make or break for me mm. And it was It was something Which kind of Made me think to myself Well What do I want to do now? Mm. Where do I see myself in five years? Where mm. do I see myself in ten years' time? Mm. And for me, like I said, and Alhamdulillah, always grateful. I had a, a, a very supportive father, Mashallah, mm. who was always, in terms of when I say on our case, not in a bad way, but always made sure we were doing the right thing yeah, on top of the game, hundred yeah. percent, and made sure on we point. we weren't going astray. Mm. And if we did, bring us back in to make sure this is what, this is what you need. Yeah. You understand? Mm. And the beauty of it was now, Alhamdulillah, I think the older you get, you realize, you know what? It wasn't selfish. Mm. It was actually generosity. Yeah. Now, th- thinking no, about thinking hundred percent mm. is is that, Mashallah. That I'm I'm glad. I'm grateful to have such an upbringing, Mashallah. Where I had a father who was always looking out for us and mm. thinking about our prospect even before we even thought about it. Mm. Thinking about what we would do from ten years from now, saving money for us, which. Like I said, it's a big thing. Yeah. Teaching us, see, now you man. learn a lot from it. Now, Alhamdulillah, growing up, I realize how important. See, I think when you're in that teenage phase, you think, well, I want this. You want all the materialism, yeah. and you think my mate's got it, yeah. he's got it, yeah. she's got it, I oh, want yeah. it. You need that watch, but you need that. You think, need that you think why can't I buy it? Yeah. But now, now you look and think, you know what, Alhamdulillah, if it mm. wasn't for my dad to put aside to teach us that, well. Yes, it comes, you can earn it, mm. but don't be silly about it. Yeah. Learn, discipline yourself, not only discipline yourself mm. in one way, but dis- discipline yourself financially, mm. dis- discipline yourself spiritually, mentally, physically. Love. You have to, like you said, discipline yeah. is key. Yeah. In every aspect of life, you learn, I think the older I've got, I've, I've learned that well. You have to discipline every aspect. You have to have a fair balance mm. of whatever you do. Yeah. You can't give too much mm. in terms of you can't give too much in one area and neglect mm. the other. You've got to find you that neutral I'll balance. I call it earning the right. So for me, you know, and about discipline, I kind of switch it. So for myself, it's where I got to earn the right to play. Hundred percent. Yeah, do you understand what I mean? Yes, As yes, in yes, like, yes. So like, if I got some tasks to do or like I got these things to do, in it, yeah. Sometimes I overload it. Sometimes I feel too much in the day, especially at my age. And I shouldn't really be doing that much. But yeah. so, so I'd I'd overextend myself if you know what I mean. I but then I'll, I'll either I fall short, but at least I've done all them like fifty different things, and then I've got the one last you want to take it to tomorrow. But when I say earn the right to play, is what I mean is so I I play as hard as I work. Like I'll work like let's say I'll, I'll do twelve hours easy. Yeah, yeah sure. like like it's nothing. Like, I remember in the pizza shop, like I'll be making. Like, I've said the story a billion times, and but I'll be making the dough, doing everything, and getting all the stocking first, then making the dough, setting all the shop up, and again all the workers straight, then open the doors, and then I'm there doing deliveries, making the pizzas, everything. So everything, doing it all on your own watch. Yeah, well. yeah. And the, like my dad left it to me some days to manage the shop, so I kind of had to step into that. So when you're doing teaching at eighteen, nineteen, that was kind of my thing. So then when I say earn the right, is that that's what I learned because. Through that and the two the last two years, I've I've had myself like a few different personal issues and things going on. So for me, it was kind of like staying focused. Like whatever happens, I gotta earn the right to play. Like even if like life hit you in a certain way or like circumstances change, but you gotta earn the right. Hundred percent. So even if like even if it's like your fault, like you just gotta work hard, work like, for it. grind it, and then once you get there, it, have your things in it, but exactly. have it at the right time. Hundred. Yeah. And to be honest, like I said, mm. patience is a virtue. Everything comes at the right time. Yeah, exactly. And I think you learn that a lot more as well. The more you go on into life, the more mm. you start doing your own things, and you stand for yourself. 
uh, financially independently, you're standing on your own feet, you realize, mm. you know what, the world's a big place. Yeah. Now you can either get lost in it or work, make your way and make your, yeah, pave exactly, your own yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah. Navigate yourself. So, a hundred percent. And that, th- again, like you said, for me, though, so having that thought of mentality where I'm going to give, 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 it kind of inspired me to take on that teaching role where mm. I wanted to, rather than suppress everything in my own head, if I'm good at something, I wanted someone else to learn that way. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I, I was very tolerable. I, I was very patient with patience. Because yeah. because no, another, you know? another thing yeah. with 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 that thought of mindset was it made me realize well, you know, I never got it the first mm. time round. I never always got it the first time right? Mm. So why should I be harsh on other people And make them think they have to get it right the first time mm. You know no one becomes successful overnight You're lucky <laughs> if you do yeah. You win the lottery you're lucky yeah, You yeah. understand Everything comes with hard mm. work Everything comes with effort mm. rep- uh, Repetition You mm. understand So for me to, to, to just encourage someone To make someone feel better about themselves To make them believe in themselves To push themselves mm. Like I said For me I've done well for myself But there's still much more Like I said You can never stop mm. learning mm. You can never stop growing mm. You understand While we're still here While we've got the opportunity yes. We want to get better and yeah. better But at the same time You know I, I've always In the back of my head I wanted to be a, a role model The way I looked up to mm. My brothers Looked up my parents And my grandparents I wanted my younger siblings Whether that's cousins Families, nephews, nieces yeah. To look up to me and say, well, we want to do like him. And in my head, my dua wasn't for them to be to do like what I did, but mm. to do much better than me. Yeah. To I'm do, I'm just, yeah, I'm just setting a, yeah. a little level. Yeah, now yeah, I want yeah, you to yeah, surpass that. Yeah. I don't want you to meet it. I mm. want you to exceed it. Mm. You understand? For me, that's gonna make me happy. Yeah, yeah. You know, when I when I wake up one day and I get some news, inshallah, you, I've done this, I've achieved this. I'm not gonna compare it to myself. Mm. I'm gonna say, have you done better than me? Yeah. That's when I'm going to okay. give you the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, you understand? Yeah, that's my, that's, that, that's, that's mm. my intention. That's the way I see things. That's where I have that perception where mm. I don't just want you to do what I've done. I mm. want you to do better than me. Mm. I want to just create, a, a, a just set a mark. Yeah, yeah. You have to beat that mark. Mm. You get it? Yeah, yeah. Not just yeah, yeah. meet that mark. Mm. 100%, you understand? 100%. And if yeah, we yeah. don't do it... No, but that's how you get leaders, man. 100%. Yeah. And you know, if we don't do it, and what we realize is a lot of people are left to do it themselves. Mm. And you know, when you're, when you're in that position, sometimes when you take on, uh, you've probably been there yourself where you've got a lot to take on. Yeah. And you're like, where shall I go? What shall mm. I do? Who shall I ask? Who yeah. shall I go to? Now, if you don't have those people there, if you don't have the resources there mm. that you can go to, that you can uh, ask for help or ask for support, then it, it makes life very difficult. Mm. You understand? No, but you know, for those people, because obviously a lot of some people listening probably going through that right now. But you know, in my opinion, like you can only give your opinion in it. My, in my opinion, is you gotta strip your back. So you know, whatever um, obstacles in the way like, could be anything. Like let's say you haven't got no role models in your life or whatever. You can search on YouTube. Where it's about finding the role, uh, right 100%. role models, and you gotta find the right characters for yourself. Hundred like, percent. You gotta like so you know when um. Oh no, let's say you're looking at a video or something and, and you take a quote, you gotta second guess that quote. So you know, like I could give a quote right now in this yeah, podcast yeah. And, and for me, I believe it. Yeah. What is what's for you? What's your character? What's you your brain? Like, you know, and what you gotta do is it's accountability at the end of the day. It's gotta you gotta be accountable for whatever action you take. Action you take. So if you wanna take their quote and say, like, oh this is it, yeah, I believe in this and I'm gonna run with it, then run with it. 100%. But you gotta fully believe it in yourself. That's that's yeah, how you that's believe. your self belief. Yeah. Exactly. And you know, mm. I agree with that one hundred percent. Like I said, a lot of things which and uh, see it all goes back it always goes back uh, back to foundations and the mm. the, the, the foundry the, the boundaries now for me when it comes to things like that I always think about how it doesn't matter who's saying it mm. now it could be anyone saying it and I, for me religiously as well it it, it, it it teaches us well doesn't matter who says it what says it if it's good take it if it's bad leave it mm. You understand, exactly, yeah. and like you never take something blindly. Yeah, just because someone said it yeah. doesn't matter how. Yeah. What, you got to formulate your own opinion. Hundred percent, and you've mm. got to. Is it your job to actually investigate it? Mm. Not in a bad way. Not think bad about it, mm. but to prove that it is. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. You know, I can come here with a room with a box and say this box has got gold in it. <laughs> now, it doesn't matter how much of a friend of <laughs> yeah, you are yeah, to me or how much you know mm. me. You shouldn't blindly take what's in the box. Yeah. I could put anything in that box. Yeah. Hundred. So you have to believe, mm. well, let me investigate the box first. Before yeah. I take it from you, mm. show me. Show me where it's come from. Mm. You understand? Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's the whole point. I think a lot of the time we turn a blind eye to it. We take things blindly. Mm. We take it with a pinch of salt. Yeah. 
And I, Alhamdulillah, I've never been that person. Mm. I've always, I've always been respectful how I would come across, mm. not to disrespect anyone, not to disregard anyone. Look, we've got to understand. We've always, we, well, as you said, mm. we all have our own opinions. Yeah. We all have our own beliefs, mm. our own what principles. Mm. You understand? So what you may see as good might not be good to me. Yeah. What you may see as bad might not be bad to mm. me. But it doesn't mean I'm wrong or you're right. Yeah. Or I'm right, mm. you're wrong. Yeah. It simply means we're human. Yeah, exactly. We're it's different. A of opinion. Hundred percent, and we're we're allowed to have a difference in opinion. Exactly, yeah. yeah. But when you know, one thing though is is there's always having a matter of opinion, but it's being true to the hundred percent, being real and hundred percent. You know, the ones where like they have a certain opinion, and then they pretend like they have the another opinion, another opinion, yeah. and then later on you find out that that's not the case. That's not the case. Yeah, exactly, yeah. like I said, mm. you don't just have an opinion to prove your right. Yeah, exactly. Or to yeah, yeah. follow it just mm. to make people pleasing. Yeah, yeah. yeah? That doesn't get nowhere. Mm. At the end of the day, look, you've got to, you've got to, for me, again, the way I live my life now is, you know, forget if the people are going to be happy with me. If I do, if I'm doing something with a good heart, mm. with a good intention, you know, sometimes not everyone's going to see that intention. Mm. Not everyone's going to know exactly what you're doing. It. And yeah. sometimes it's hard to get it off your chest to yeah. why you're doing it. Yeah, exactly. But you know, deep down, I'm doing it for a good intention. Yeah. You understand? Mm. Nowadays, we live in such a society which it kind of is, is, is sad and, you know, it, it's, it's upsetting when you mm. think about it and think, well, people will cut you. If it's a, if people cut into you, if you can be as nice as honey mm. to them, but they'll sort of try cutting into you mm. or make you slander you yeah. or whatnot. But see, for me, I don't let that negative energy mm. uh, affect me. I know one thing if the one up there knows why I'm doing it, because mm. he's the seer of all intentions, mm. he's a hero of he's yeah. a hero all knowing. So I don't need to prove mm. my point. Yes, that doesn't mean I'm being, ego, uh, I'm being uh, arrogant or I'm being egocentric. Mm. It's just sometimes you have no words to explain to people. Yeah. That, but you know, deep down, you're mm. doing something in the right way. Mm. You're doing it with the best of intention. Mm. You understand? Yeah, yeah. We'll, and go, we'll go back to your, we'll go back to mentality, and we'll talk about that further on. But go on, let's give you a bit of context. So let's take it step by step. Yeah. So let's go from your teenage years. And okay. Then, number one, forget anything else. Just number one. This first question: How did you first formulate the idea when you're on about your grandparent, uh, your granddad, and yeah. your dad's foundations that? And how, number one, was it like a case of you automatically bought into them? And like, that's it, I'm going to believe them because they told me. Or was it, were you sort of resistant to it? Like a normal teenager where like, you think, oh, no, but eh, this, that. And then like, how was that first of all? And then we'll move on. To be honest, like I said, I think having that first-hand experience where I've seen, uh, knowing that someone in my family did it. So my granddad and my dad, they, they were successful in their own mm. way. So I would say... I wouldn't say I was resistant to believing them because mm. I think Alhamdulillah having knowing that they're the proof in the pudding. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. Like they've done credible, it. You credible. understand? They've yeah. done it. Yeah. So for me to disagree is just arrogant. Mm. You understand? So I think Alhamdulillah knowing that well they've done it. They've yeah. set the mark. So they know they definitely know what they're on about. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, that respect, that that natural respect, being my parents, being my grandparents. Mm. Will always be there. Mm. So believe in everything they said. Yeah. You can say naive but for me it's respect and to be honest until this day I don't think they've ever told me anything to do anything wrong okay, it's yeah, always yeah. been it has to be Islamic mm. it has to be truthful and you have to be honest mm. you understand yeah, yeah. and I think those principles were set at a very young age mm. so like I said that strict so where did sort of you, or, um, so you know uh, you haven't told me what dad does but your granddad did uh, dentistry yes so yeah. then how did audiology come in for you? So the for, one for, that for me, to... like I said here, yeah, mm. uh, for me, that audiology came in. I had the mix between the two. Mm. So it, it, I actually, if I'm very, very early on, uh, toward, when I said towards the end of my uh, uh, growing up, you always wanted to do sort of things. I, I thought dentistry was the mm. one. You understand? Okay. It was fixated. I've done quite a lot of. Uh, I don't like when you know you're at school and you do placements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you had like uh, work, had work experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we done work, work experience. Uh, I done a few dental practices mm. in my area. I mm. went. Uh, I think one was in my area, and then I went to Small Eats as well. Okay. So it was like uh, I always loved it. Mm. Don't get me wrong. It was like. Uh, a, 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 just flicking the switch to be honest with you and yeah. it just came around you know like I said with my personality I'm very outgoing very talkative mm. and to be honest I didn't have no idea what audiology was okay. I'll be honest to you I didn't know <laughs> what it was <laughs> I remember one day we were sitting there and then we went to this we had this uh, sort of 
uh, meeting. Mm. You know, this this school when they come to school and they yeah, talk yeah. about different career paths. Yeah, yeah. And I heard audiology. Okay. And I thought, what's that? Yeah. It sounds yeah. good. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> so I went there. We went there. Had like a little, an hour sort of lecture sort of thing. Mm. And we there. We listening to it, and they're talking about oh how people are mm. uh, hard of hearing and. Uh, People can suffer at 55 plus and 65 plus. I think it's 65 plus at the time. Mm. And it was just going all about bases. We looked at hearing gaze and how they've changed. And to be honest, it just took me, it kind of, and this will relate very well now. I had a, so my mom's mom, she was hard of hearing. Okay. She was, uh, we would say hard of hearing, completely mm. uh, deaf in one ear. Okay. So when we used to uh, visit her, uh, she's passed away now, so I'm using past oh, tense. Uh, we used to visit and uh, speak to her. We always had that. It, it became like, a, uh, uh, not a, a joke as a disrespectful joke, but she used to say to us like, can't you hear me? Yeah, like, yeah. we were like, kids, like, we were kids yeah. sarcastically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it depends, that, it depends that even as a kid, he used to kind of get to me. Mm. Like, and when I say get to me, it's like, I used to feel upset mm. that, why can't she hear? Yeah, yeah. Like I was always inquisitive yeah, yeah. about why can't she hear, but yeah. to be honest, I, like you wanted I, the world to be perfect. As, as a yeah, kid, yeah. you don't take think much notice of you. Just think, why can't she hear? Yeah, yeah. Why? Yeah, yeah. But like I said, it wasn't yeah. much of like uh, a big thing to me. I like, carried on with my life, yeah. and uh, in terms of like, not that I didn't care about it, but no, no, like kids being kids. Yeah, yeah, it's like you don't yeah, think. Yeah. To, yeah, like, back I'm head just head. telling you something. We're going back. Yeah, 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 yeah. I used to feel like, why can't you hear with me? I think, and like I said, so. It just kind of made me research into it. So then mm. when I went away, I actually went, went to start reading. And then I, luckily, I had a friend of mine whose a sister-in-law was a an audiolo- audiologist. Okay, okay, okay. So we went down, I went to his house, mm. uh, we sat down and uh, I was just asking him, what's audiology? And we were all yeah, there, yeah. I still remember. Mm. Because of the early in the back of yeah, head, yeah, back the lecture. Head. So yeah, yeah. to be honest, like I said, this it, it never happened overnight. I'm mm. trying to just summarize the story yeah, yeah. a bit. So how I got into it, and then she talked talked about how it's, it's helping people mm. uh, who are hard of hearing, fitting with hearing aids, doing hearing tests. And to be honest, I kind of thought, you know what, this is kind of me. So one day, what I did was I pulled out a, a notepad and opened the paper, got a pen, and I draw a line straight in the middle. One side I wrote dentistry. And on this side of audiology. Okay. And what I did was write all the points why I want to do it. Okay. So two sides was yeah. why what was, what this, was this your idea? My idea. Okay. I'm yeah, at the blue. Up, at the blue, I thought, <laughs> you know what? I, I need yeah, one. You're in the bed chilling and you're thinking like, yo, I gotta I've got to do it. You understand? Like I said, it, I literally came home one night and I thought, you know what? Pulled out a pen, drawn mm. line straight to the middle, dentistry on one side, audiology on the other. Mm. I wrote that every day, then good or bad, yeah. why I should do it or why I shouldn't do mm. it. Yeah, and I remember just sitting there and I wrote stuff like, and the dentist tried, my granddad did it, I want to help people, mm. uh, it's one-to-one. And what I started to see was, well, okay, I've had no one in the family do it, mm. but it's actually very interesting. Mm. And the key thing for me that stood out from it was, I'm actually talking to people. Yeah, yeah. And now I'm helping people mm. who can't hear. Yeah. Or who hard of hearing? Mm. So for me, that was a big switch. I just remember myself. You know what? That's me. Mm. I I I can sit there and have a conversation. Yeah, I yeah. can sit and talk to someone. Mm. If I can sit and talk to someone, being me, yeah. then why not make it a job? Mm, exactly. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously, a point, important point is when you're doing dentistry, like they got stuff in the, stuff the mouth. In the mouth. <laughs> you're not talking to them. And the similarity I saw, the similarity I saw was yeah. well. Nah, still, he, uh, he, it's, it's one-to-one mm. You're still doing the same thing mm. You're working one-to-one with them yeah, yeah. But I'm actually talking to them I'm yeah. not blocking them out yeah, yeah, yeah. You understand? <laughs> yeah. So that was a, that was a big uh, changer yeah. for me That was yeah. a game changer no, The way you said it was funny But no, I know what you mean though yeah. You get what I mean? <laughs> so for me it was a game changer And that's when I thought You know what? I want to actually do this mm. I started doing a bit more reading into it I went I went to Korea's office mm. uh, Done a lot of uh, Having a lot of discussions Went to a bit of open days And then I actually booked a So the whole, a whole, 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 whole so, see, if that was me now. I wouldn't go to like the open days and get the career advice. I kind of just run with it myself. So, what what made you decide like I gotta actually take advice and like actually formulate like a stronger opinion? So this what yeah. this this is that that age older. This, this is where the point comes in now. Mm. When I realized there was no one in my family who did it. Yeah. So. And I had the support They mm. were like You know what Researching to it Do it yeah, yeah. Now so I couldn't go and ask The only person I knew was Like I said My friend's sister-in-law mm, mm. I got her opinion yeah, yeah. But 
it's even me when I make a decision, yeah. I have to make sure it's certain. Yeah, I yeah. didn't want to get it wrong. Okay, yeah, yeah. I no, didn't want to mess it up. I, you know, I, I learned that later on in life. I didn't want to mess it up. Mm. I remember looking online and then I've come across this summer camp. Okay. It was for like two weeks. Yeah. yeah. And it was based in Southampton University. Okay. And I thought That's like four hours away yeah. Exactly Four <laughs> hours away Now imagine me telling me That I'm going four hours away <laughs> For two weeks <laughs> Two weeks yeah. <laughs> tell you the new Minimal, I've never been there in my life <laughs> yeah, yeah. Never been in this type of In my life yeah, yeah. Where the furthest you've been? Uh, at the time We went with uh, By myself Yeah, yeah. To my answer, probably uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in Berlin, yeah, yeah, out yeah. of the areas, in, within Birmingham. Okay, let's okay, say, yeah, as yeah, from yeah. myself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you driving? Uh, were, you, from, were you driving at this time? To be honest, I was. I I was driving, but I wasn't driving that far. Okay, I didn't want to yeah, drive yeah, that yeah, far. Yeah, like I've never, drove, I've never yeah. drove that far, mm. so for me, it was like a big. Sh- yeah, yeah. But what made you go for it? Like, because most men when they got that, like when they start something like that, they got apprehension, like oh. Like the crap themselves are like, Yeah, so this is to be honest, like, one side was thinking, side of the mission. And, uh, see, me, <laughs> don't get me wrong, mission. my geography wasn't the greatest. Yeah. And I was thinking, where's Southampton? <laughs> I knew it's I knew it was far away because I haven't heard of it. But I thought, where is it? So I'll be honest here, I wasn't I didn't know exactly where it was. So I did the mm. research, I thought, oh, Southampton is quite far. <laughs> I haven't been to break to now, we want to go this far for two weeks. Yeah. All on my own. Yeah. But the good thing was what they did was they had the which made it a, a bit of uh, a bit satisfying or a bit um, a reassuring race, yeah. was everything was included. Okay. So they paid, they reimbursed your travel. Mm. Uh, they uh, sorted the accommodation. Okay, yeah. So you were catered for, and the food was okay. Mm. So it wasn't the fact that that I don't know, that that Omar was on my side. Mm. You understand? Yeah, so yeah. obviously I spoke to my dad, and my dad was a bit apprehensive at first. Mm. Then he said, "You know what, son." Yeah. If you were going to go for it, mm. I'm supportive of you. Yeah. Yeah. Shall I drop you off? Yeah. I told him that my dad's going to come and drop me off and then drive with him <laughs> back alone. Eight hour journey. Yeah, yeah. I thought, you know what? I thought, nah, I don't want my dad doing that. Mm. So I go, you know what? I'll do it. So I signed up for it. I never heard back from I thought I didn't get it at first. Okay. You know, you sign up for something, yeah, yeah, yeah. you wait for this month. We can't have heard from no one. Yeah. So I emailed them. Okay. And I go, I've applied for this. Mm. They go, we've sent you a uh, an email pack. Now, silly me, I didn't check my junk mail. Okay, yeah, yeah. It was in there. Uh, that's important. Well, that's the right thing, man. Oh, 100%. Mm. I didn't... Well, wait, hold up. Before we go into just like, talk to me about... Like, see, you know, for you, it's just second nature. Like, you didn't even think twice about emailing back. Like, you know, because did you ever think, like, I'm begging you, like, if I, you know, you, if I email them back? It, it, to, to be honest, a part of me did. I didn't want to mm. be, like... So what made you do? It, 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 to be honest, a part of me... Because I thought to myself, you know what? You I really want to do it. it. Yeah, I really want to yeah, do yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It's, see, like if you don't want to do something, you yeah. take a gamble. Yeah, For yeah. me, I'm not. I wasn't about taking a gamble. Mm. I thought I just thought at least get back to me. Yeah, yeah. Whether you accept me or not, tell me. <laughs> yeah, be, yeah. Be yeah, but see, 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 but you putting that pressure on it. Like it could be obviously you find out that it's in the junk mill. Yeah, see, like most men they'll get that, or women or whoever, but they'll get that and then they'll be like, oh, they don't want me. Like, yeah. Shadow, you get me. Like they get that bit of ego and, and to, to, just, to, to they leave it and then. You left the door of cooking closed, didn't you? Like, yeah, there's an opportunity I'll, in front of you. Exactly. Yeah. With me, yeah. like I said, I've, I think, again, going another to something which is a personality trait was, I would say I'm, I'm, I'm consistent. I'm, mm. I'm, I'm like, I fight for it all the time. Yeah, yeah. 100%. If, if I know I want something, I, I go for it and I yeah. give it my all. Yeah. Like I said, I don't do nothing, mm. n- anything half-heartedly. Mm. You know, if I want to do something, I'll yeah. give my all. All in, all out, in it. You're saying that just before the camera started. 100%, exactly. That's the other way. But that's the same all in, all like, like, yeah, I, yeah. I don't, I don't sit, I don't like sitting on the fence mm. in the middle. Yeah, yeah. I go all in yeah. and give it my best. Hundred percent. And like I said, if it's not for me, it's mm. not for me. There's something better coming. Mm. You understand? So, so like you, I said, it was in the junk mail, didn't it? You found it, it, you got found it. it, got back, submitted it off, and that's it. My booked, the, booked my tickets. Woof, I'm going. I'm going to go yeah, south yeah. after in a few weeks. <laughs> I'm going to go. You understand? In the back of my head, I was nervous. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, I was thinking to myself, don't know where yeah. this is. I was looking, I remember looking at my train tickets, a good 10 pounds. Yeah. Let me try and find out where this is. Because yeah, yeah. I think we stopped at uh, the few yeah. stops in between. Okay, yeah. So it was just like, make sure I get the right one, the yeah, right yeah, times and everything. Yeah, I put the numbers, I would like a few Exactly. I think the mistake I made was I should have booked an open return. Okay. 
I don't specific with the time because I've never oh. been. Yeah, I never yeah. booked a ticket for that far mm. ever. Yeah, yeah. So for me, it was like a new experience. Mm. And yeah, but it's freaking. But uh, talk about being on. Like I said this, I think like four podcasts in a row. But it's about being comfortable, being uncomfortable. 100%. Yeah, and that clearly is a freaking great example there, man. Exactly. Yeah, now, ready? So, so, like I said, for me, mm. it was... That's it, it was, bollocks, man. It does. Yeah. Do you know what I'm Like, as I look at yeah. some of the things, I think, you know, I know that if I did, I'm glad I did take that step. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. it's good you take that leap. Mm. You know, it's always risky. Yeah, yeah. But it's not... Uh, calculated uh, risk. Calculated. I can't, exactly. Mm. It's got my point. took the words right in my mind. It's yeah. a calculated risk. Exactly. I yeah. wasn't gambling it. Mm. Ooh, I wish for, wish for not. Yeah, it was, yeah. I yeah. want to do it now. Yeah, it's not like a stab in the dark or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, to be honest, that was the biggest plunger. And when I went there, it was a big eye opener for me. Uh, I remember being there and there was one doctor, uh, Professor Saw Off, who was one mm. of the lecturers there in Vestibular. Mm. And he'd done a lot of work. They had these sign booths there. Okay. They had all sorts of audio- audiology based equipment yeah. there. And uh, it was just, honestly, it was just, I don't know, I just. I like I fell in love with it right at first. It's like, it's like falling in love yeah, at first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but you find the passion in it. I thought, you know what? This is me. Mm. I can see myself doing it. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I just felt, I felt like I was in my element, but yeah. I haven't even started, but I'm yeah. in my element. Yeah, you exactly. yeah, yeah. So it was but like, you find the calling in it. 100%. And you know what? Like I said, I, w- I didn't regret it. I didn't mm. even feel bad. I just thought to myself, you know what? This is what I want to do. Mm. Now, in the back of my head, I thought, this is, I've got, got to make sure I do this now. So mm. that struggle went on, uh, made sure that my, uh, I thought, like, this is the course I want to do. I want to stick with doing this. Forget uh, Dentistry went out the window at that yeah, point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It was out the window. Yeah, yeah. It was definitely mm. fixated into audiology. Uh, and I remember I used to tell people, what do you want to do? Audiology. What's that? Yeah. And I used to sit there. I used to be like 10, 15 minutes explaining what yeah, audiology yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. I, like, now, you give, I was just going to say to you, just give us like an explanation of audiology. Like, so especially your, like, because audiology is a big spectrum, no? It's a big spectrum. So, so what's your like, specific So with, with, with audiology itself, uh, is a hearing care uh, professional mm. uh, specialist uh, in hair care. So we help those who are hearing impaired, mm. who are hard of hearing, and uh, like I said, it's not limited to hearing alone. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm also a tinter specialist and also uh, we work with uh, balanced patients as well. Okay. So those with yeah, vestibular yeah. problems. Because mm. a lot of people don't realize that your ears are your balance. Hundred, essentially. So mm. you have the, like I said, I don't want to bore you with the anatomy of the ears. Yeah. But to put it very simply, we have the the ears, which is split into three parts. You mm. have the outer, middle, inner part. Yeah, now, yeah. Part of the inner part, we have the vestibular modules, okay. the, the, the components which form the balance, mm. control the balance, you understand? Yeah, yeah. So th- they literally sit side by side mm. with the hearing organ. So it's th- this is why we say when you have, an, and w- w- especially with some of the symptoms of uh, occluded ears, mm. with wax, where uh, dizziness, uh, unsteadiness, yeah. balance problems, is one of them. Yeah, yeah. You understand? And I think the, the, the difficult thing is, especially in today's society as well, is, I, and I say the same thing to all my patients. I think I said to you when you came to see yeah, me as well. Yeah. Where it's, yeah. it's just I was just going to say that now. Yeah, yeah. I've been to see you yeah, yeah. and uh, it was a smooth experience, man. Thank you. Yeah, like, like, let me just say it now because it's the right time. But yeah. smooth experience because I was having trouble, man. Because I, I told you, and, like, I went Turkey on holiday and, and yeah, I yeah, jumped yeah, backwards in the water. And it, after that, I got infection and then it was long. Like, and plus, like, when you took you out as well, like, it was a relief, man. Because like, you know, when you're talking about the balance, like, cause I told you, like, I was walking to stairs, like, stairs, yeah, 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 yeah like, you, me? you were just kind of like irregular and you we weren't like really patterned, right? Yeah, but yeah. then like, when I come to you and you took you out and I gave you a day or two and I was back to normal, man. That's brilliant. Yeah, so I appreciate see, you, man. No, no, honestly, like I said, any time, and see, that that alone is satisfaction for me. Mm. Like I said, just to hear that I'm, I'm helping someone, I'm, I'm improving your quality of life. Mm. And a lot, a lot of times we overlook it and... And we say this again, to, I think to all my patients is, it's just strange, like, we, we're listening all the time. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm. Uh, and, but we remember to get our eyes test, uh, mm. tested, our teeth checked. Yeah. We forget the ease. Yeah, yeah, we completely neglect them. And yeah. especially with... No, we take it as a given. 100%. Especially with the technology that we've got today, mm. with these ear pods, ear, ear pods and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. You can imagine mm. we we're doing so much more damage to our ears yeah, than we yeah. were good twenty yeah, years ago, exactly, yeah, yeah. forty years mm. ago. Things are changing. Yes, they're changing for the better for us to help us, mm. but at the same time they're having a negative impact, impact on us. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah, yeah. Now continuously, you can walk down the street now, and with all these kids nowadays, school kids, mm. they've got AirPods in. Mm. 
sometimes you can just sit in, not even right next to them, but you can still hear what they're listening to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, that like, but like I said, um, depends how I put my hands up, I mm. did it as well. Mm. I used to have headphones in sometimes, not all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, I no, no, the bus, really like, even on the train to Southampton, you, like, you, know, you did, yeah, you, yeah. Do, you, you do, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm some saint, mm. but what I'm saying is we need to raise the awareness mm. and educate patients. Now you won't catch me doing it now. Mm. Because I understand yeah. the, the value of it, mm. the importance of it. No, but it's, it's within reason. 100%. Mm. When you don't know something, mm. you're excused. Yeah, yeah. You make, can make, ex- you can slip up, you can make, you yeah, can yeah. make a fall, you can make yeah, a trip. You're blind to but you. when you know it and you don't do something, see, this is what it really kind of it gets to because I want to sit there and educate every single patient. Don't yeah. do this, don't do that. Mm. Ha- sometimes you don't have the the actual means to do it to mm. everyone. You don't have the time in the day to do yeah, it. But exactly. if I could, I would sit down and make everyone learn yeah, about yeah. the basics. Mm. You understand? Because for me, it's important. Now, like I said, me having knowledge, I could be the expert in my field mm. for many years. But if I don't pass that on to anyone, yeah, exactly. Then when I go, when I when I go, who's yeah. going to take over the role? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, we can't expect people to yeah. things to grow magically. <laughs> yeah. We've got to, we've got to yeah, exactly. invest in no, it ourselves. No, no, no. We've yeah. got to do our bit yeah. and give what we've got. to the roots, man. 100%. Mm. And this is why, for me, I want to be, uh, be a light for people to take from mm. and take the good, reap, sow it them in their own yeah. gr- uh, fields mm. and let it grow out. Mm. Understand? Because if we don't have them to blossom, we don't have people to blossom, mm. they're not going to blossom themselves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Understand? Yeah. If we don't support and give our words of advice, our mm. actions of encouragement, then we can't expect someone else to come and mm. do it. Yeah, you understand? It's like they say, you can't build a future for the youth, innit? but you can help build the youth for the future. For the future. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Mm. And this is what they say, it's not about giving someone something on a plate. Yeah. You know, Alhamdulillah, I'll tell you one thing, we've had a lot of things in our lives, but one thing we we were always, again, we touched upon it at the start, is we were disciplined in everything we were given. Mm. From the food we had, from the clothes we had, mm. from the money we had, we knew it was earned. Yeah, exactly. It was never going to come on a plate. Mm. So if yeah. you wanted good, you had to work hard for it. Mm. You understand? And that's struggle continued through your studies yeah. through even t- the in uh, daily life today mm. you always think to yourself you know what if i want good if i want a luxury uh, life i want a luxury mm. holiday i want a luxury car you're in the right, right. right. back exactly. to what you said bro yeah, yeah. 100% you in the, the right, the right. Mm. you can't expect it to go through there you can't expect it on the plate mm. yeah. this is why i don't like you know sometimes look around and you see uh some kids who are spoiled yeah. and they're given everything on the plate yeah. you think you know what Okay, I appreciate no, you, the yeah, parents have went for it. Yeah. I'll let you finish and then I'll give my piece. Uh, from, I appreciate some of the parents have went for it. Mm. But you know, and it's good if you've got the means to do it, give them. But make sure you teach them as well that it comes doesn't come easy. Yeah, you yeah. understand? So mm. they they value it. Mm. You know, so when you give someone too much and they, you don't explain to them mm. w- of how it's coming, yeah, yeah. they think they it's, it's I should get it regardless. Yeah, it's God given. 100%. Yeah, yeah. You get, you get yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In that way. Yeah, 100%. Of course, if you've got the means... Give your children the mm. best in, the, in that possible way. Give your family the best, but always make sure yeah. they understand the discipline, knowing mm. the fact that you know what it, it all comes with hardware. Yeah, and I come down to the ears, and it's all about balance, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you get me. Yeah. It can't miss yeah. the balance. You get yeah, exactly. just about what you hear. Yeah. You know how you balance yeah, exactly. it all. Because yeah, it's like it's like it's with anything in it. Like when you're saying like about you in terms of like like your granddad was a dentist, your dad's doing something. Like you got role models in the family. And you, even your brother, your brother's a teacher. So then exactly. when, it, when it's with you, it was like it could be a case of like. Oh, it's easy. You get me? Because like, they've done it. 100%. But then, like, when they're teaching you, like, as your dad said, um, as, it, as you said, your dad was teaching you the foundations 100%. of what learning is. So then, it's, you, it's about you. Number two, it's about you taking that on board. Exactly. exactly. Like, you know, because your dad can tell you, do all this, all you want in it. But if you, I don't take it on board. It, exactly. 100%. And then you got to take it on board. Exactly. Mm. Like, say, if I turn a blind eye to you, and say, well, yeah, I'm yeah. right. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'll be honest with you. Like, if yeah. I did do that, I would. Mm. Do, I don't think I'd be sat at this table with you. Mm. No, but even if you did, even if you did, it's about because we all make mistakes. No, hundred percent. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no, no. I, I get what you're saying, but I'm gonna go on to a different point in terms of like it's about learning the lesson afterwards, and because like uh, like uh, uh, I don't give it my dad all the time. Like me and my dad butt heads in it, yeah, like every other day in terms yeah. of like the the um, trajectory of our lives in it and where we're going and like, because we work kind of hand in hand. Yeah. But we butt heads all the time, but I feel like that's good. Cause at the end of the day, we'll come to a reason. You get it? So okay. let's say like, it could be one day his idea is right. More time is his idea that's right, innit? But more time, I could have like the couple ideas that are actually right. But me, I'll be stubborn enough 
to tell my idea and then not in a negative way that like we'll just be talking generally yeah, but I'll yeah, give yeah. my idea we'll have an argument about it and then we'll come up with the basis of like it could be a bit of his idea a bit of mine but that idea in itself will it's be the best idea it's fused from both of yours yeah exactly no, no, yeah, yeah. So you, 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 that's healthy got, yeah. sometimes mm. that's healthy it's about having the healthy one 100% yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's, it's, it's how you come across mm. it's respect as well yeah yeah like I said you can have the best idea mm. you can have the worst idea mm. but if you don't deliver it in the right way yeah, exactly. it's always going to be bad yeah exactly you understand mm. but like I said that's important yeah, yeah. It's, not, it's never it's never wrong to disagree sometimes mm. you understand it's yeah. sometimes it's healthy to disagree yeah, exactly. to yeah. give your point of view mm. and to make sure you're ahead yeah. you understand to say 100%. well I don't agree with this but I feel it should be done this way yeah, yeah. that's th- that's part of life yeah, it's a young and young isn't it mm, 100% exactly. so then we never kind of touched on it well, we touched on it before we never really deep deep but before we get into the audiology and you actually becoming a business owner and all the aspect let's talk about the tutoring okay because you never really like we kind of went off course but we when you're we about 16 uh, well no 18, 19 yep. and you started the tutoring talk to me about that and the experience well number one going in so how, how, how did you kind of come back so if I'm honest I remember I started off just doing uh to be honest, I've knew we knew like a family friend okay. who had his own sort of little uh, unit. Mm. It's a small uh, couple of classrooms. Okay, and yeah, he was yeah. tutoring, and I went one day just to have a look around. Okay. And uh, I thought to myself, you know what? Was that stuff motivated? Yeah. Like, I don't know, was that your idea? Or was it like your dad told you, like, come look at me? Like, no, if I'm honest, yeah, my dad took us to this because mm. it's a family friend. Yeah, so yeah. we went there and I was casually sat there and I was okay, like, okay. so my dad took us. Mm. And uh, I just sat there and I remember my dad was talking, uh, of course, family friend of ours, so yeah. we were fairly close. And they were just catching him. And I just, so, you know, you sometimes you just sit and observe. Yeah, yeah you're just talking to him. And you're sitting and observing and you're thinking, you know what? I could actually do something similar. Yeah, yeah. Understand? Like, yeah. I remember there's some um, there's a guy called Abdul who was who was maths doing maths tutoring. Mm. And I was just looking at him and he's changing his character. Yeah, you know uh, what? I could I kind of fancy doing that. You get it? <laughs> so I did actually have a conversation with my dad. I'm like, you know what? Ask, yeah. ask go there, and see, yeah. see, see how you like. Yeah, see what going on. <laughs> so that's when I first got into. It. So my dad told him, well, he's gonna come in. Let him sit down. Yeah. He wants to see how I yeah. got there. I remember this kid come in first day, and it was I think twelve years old, and he's I think he just started secondary school at the okay. time, and he was his, I think his mom was worried. Well, he's not doing well in studies, mm. and I was there. I took yeah. him on. And it was only year seven as well. Like, relax seven, a bit. Yeah. Relaxed a bit. <laughs> but you know, I thought I was, I was there, and obviously, you know, parents much like I respect that because mm. it's it just goes to show the parents care. Yeah, yeah. You understand? So I remember there, and he goes to me. You know. Come here, take him in, take mm. the kid in, start seeing what. See, he goes to no, he goes to me first, see what topics he's doing, mm. what he's stuck yeah, on. Yeah. In it. So, I'm start talking to this kid, and mm. mashallah, very, that relationship. very, very, very yeah. nice kid. Uh, Sadaja, very quiet, okay. But I was trying to break into yeah, him. Yeah. Come and tell me what he's stuck on. I said, He's stuck on that. You're breaking uh, the ice. So, so I, yeah. I remember saying that I said to him, He's just stuck on uh, multiplication. And he's like, everything was saying yes, stuck in. <laughs> then I went back to him. And then I knew, like I said, it was, it was, it was yeah. the icebreaker which we had to get through. But I mm. got to a point where I sat there and then I, he goes to me, we flick into the book. I can't remember what the topic says. So I thought basic questions. Yeah, so it yeah. must have been like, what's 44 times uh, 32 less to the long multiplication? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or stuff like that. So we, yeah, started, yeah. we started working our yeah, way yeah. into basic it. Like I said, it wasn't, uh, I can't remember word for word exactly what I said, but I'm just going basic of yeah, what yeah. I remember yeah, vaguely. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's good so, enough, so we went into, we done a few uh, questions. And actually, he was answering quite well. Okay, yeah. Mashallah. Got to the got to a few bits. I picked up it because I don't know how to do that. So that's oh. when I started. I just, on that same day, yeah. I just started uh, d- d- teaching him. Okay, do this now. Yeah. You know how to do yeah, that. Yeah. I don't want to do that. And yeah. so he's, he's like, yeah. And then he was doing it, following me behind me. And you know, instead of obviously the the objective was to just find out exactly what he's talking. About. But as a kid, you tell a kid like I said, he was saying yes to everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, exactly. But when he was actually doing it, yeah. I thought. He yeah, knows how to yeah, do that, yeah, exactly. but he just turned around to the next bit. Yeah, yeah. So then I started to, so I said to yeah. him, you know what, I'll teach you. Give him the confidence in it. You know, mm. honestly, I was, I was, it's like a cocoon. He was stuck in his shell yeah. to begin with, mm. not in his head. <laughs> and then eventually, I yeah, cracked him up. Nobody nobody blossomed blossomed up. He blossomed up. Mm. Towards the end of the lesson, I seen a different character. I thought yeah. I had a different child in front of me. Okay. But Mashallah, I told myself, you know what? I felt happy with myself. I thought, you know what? I actually opened this, made him comfortable. You get it? So... 
it just started from there and then then i also started doing i had the younger cousins as well okay so then i thought you know if i done it there yeah so I started teaching them. Mm. So Alhamdulillah, I started teaching them, and then I had like other family members getting in touch with mm. me. Uh, hey, you help you us. Building your network. Then, Alhamdulillah, I started building up. Then I remember mm. I had a friend of mine whose uh, sister's younger brother we needed. Uh, mm. So my mate's sister, okay. her, her so yeah, yeah, like her like sister's mate, mate mm. she got someone in there, and he goes, "You want to do that one as well?" Yeah, yeah. So I went to the house. That's the mm. first time I went to the house. So instead of okay, working yeah. the base or yeah, working yeah. at home, okay. working in my cousin's house. That's when I went to someone's house. Mm. So then I thought, you know what? This is yeah. good little pocket money as well. Yeah, so so I thought, you know what? I'm mm. benefiting. I'm feeling, I'm not only earning a, a bit of change. I'm not only helping someone else. I'm feeling good about myself because yeah, I'm doing something yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, positive. So it, it just got the ball rolling. Mm. I thought, you know what? I started off teaching. Then I thought, you know what? I can do maths. I can do uh, all the sciences. Mm. I wanted to keep, my my specifics were I keep it to the maths and sciences because I yeah, love yeah. maths and sciences. Yeah, yeah. English, I would do it, but it wasn't. I wasn't very keen on it, so I didn't want to teach something that I wasn't very enthusiastic about myself because yeah. I didn't want. To, like I said, I don't like passing on negative energy. Mm. If I don't like something, I don't want someone else to yeah. not like it because of me. Yeah, exactly. Everyone's their own. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. What if I love it, I want to pa- share that passion mm. with you. Mm. I want you to feel it. I want you yeah. to learn it the same yeah, way. Exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. very enthusiastic, even until this day. I'm mm. telling you, I've taught quite a lot of my cousins, uh, uh, younger cousins, and I'm actually they've gone on to, into their own career paths where. They say, you know what, you, you, you're you such, you're such, you love maths this much, but yeah. to be honest, you know, Alhamdulillah, you know when yeah. you, you know when you learn the, uh, when you yeah. learn something and it, it just sticks with you. Yeah. You know, Alhamdulillah, I had a wonderful uh, t- uh, A-level, uh, who taught me A-level maths, mm. mashallah, he's retired now, but uh, I still, I still, I still, still in touch with him, so I, we, we talk it from here mm. and there just to ask if he's okay, his health's okay, yeah, his yeah. family's okay. It's always mm. nice to keep that bond, yeah, yeah, yeah. you understand? So, but you know, one thing I think when I used to sit in his lessons, I think everyone in the class would agree he was just a different teacher. Okay. You know, he always used to say this, different you know, energy. In it. Yeah, you yeah. know, you, you you can sit in some classes and yeah. you felt like they just wanted to teach and get out. Yeah, exactly. You know, he actually yeah. made sure you understood it, and he would say, "Come, teach you. I'll teach you this," and he taught you every little method. And you know, yeah. you just felt like, "Yo, this maths is." Yeah. Good man. Mm. I'll do more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. yeah, yeah. It, it was when you yeah. learn how to do a concept. You get that buzz for you, hundred percent. Mm. It's like. Yeah. Sounds geeky, but I'm telling you, yeah. it, it I can tell by your eyes, man. I can tell that like, you're not talking about audiology and maths. Like your eyes just light <laughs> up, and like, you have this different energy. Like, yeah. Bro, you know, like yeah. I said, you know, you have a passion for something. Yeah, yeah. It's it's different. Mm. You you can exhibit in different ways. Yeah, exactly. You, you want it. You want it. You want you want you want it to be known. Mm. You want it. You want it to. That's what I said. You know, what, for yeah. me. It's, yeah. I've always loved it So yeah. I wanted to share That same sort of energy With my students mm. Whether that's family Whether yeah. that's someone uh, Just a, a general uh, Tutor used to come To want to get taught by me So it became Something which Like I said It got bigger and better mm. Where I took time aside And I felt good about it Because like I said, you know, some things I didn't touch upon when I, then I started teaching A level, mm. and I thought, you know what, I haven't done this in a while, but it makes it's, it's makes perfect sense. Yeah, you understand? It's yeah. it's, it's always yeah, good. Reaffirmed it. Like revision. Like revision. Hundred yeah. yeah. percent. It became revision yeah. for me, and I thought, revision yeah, became perfect. Like exactly. I'm happy well. with yeah, yeah. it. And when I used to go, oh, this concept, I used to say, oh, this is how you do this. This yeah. how you do. Explain this to me, and I sat there since they go explain. But mm. to be honest, I love that even till this day, I'm still I still do tutoring mm. here and there. Okay. Uh, I do it with now instead of as a business, I do it just for family. Okay. And close family. Yeah, friends. yeah. But that should. Uh, to be yeah. honest, I do much now more for like I said, with obviously with commitments with work and mm. everything. It's it. I don't want to do it for business. For no, me, no, it's no. not about making money. No, but I'm saying that shows your heart because your heart's in the right place. Because if you know now, like it could be like an extra business where you're just running around twenty four hours. No, no. Like, See, for me, it's not about the yeah, money. Yeah. I don't. It's not. Mm. It's more to you know my satisfaction. Like I said, and I said this at the start, mm. I'm gonna reinstate it because this is something important to me. I want them to look at me. So when they ask me what I'm doing, mm. I would say I've done this, but now you've got to do better. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I yeah, can yeah. do it. Mm. You can do much better. Mm. You you started off at a city start. I never had no one to sit privately and teach me maths. Mm. If I can do this, yeah. I want you to do no, better. Mashallah, mashallah, you've got. The, see, is you know another thing which is very important. I think is is overlooked quite easily is making sure people, especially kids, actually acknowledge their potential. Mm. You know when you tell a kid he can't do it. Yeah. In his mindset, he walks away thinking yeah. I can't do I it. I can't do it exactly. When you tell him you can do it. Mm. 
he can do it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah Even if he, he can't he, do he it, he can do spark it. it. Spark. Yeah, yeah. That's so you know. Sometimes that's all a kid needs. Mm. Someone to tell him you're doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Be a, be a positive. When you say, "Nah, it's too hard." Yeah. Straight away. Oh, yeah. that's too hard. I'll start it, man. Yeah, exactly. Forget it. I don't yeah, want to do yeah, it. Give me an excuse already. Hundred percent. They've made the excuse, and yeah, then yeah. you can't expect it when they get to the end. Say, you could do it now. Well, for the past four years, you told me I couldn't do it. Yeah, exactly. I couldn't do it today. I can't no. do it. It's too mm, hard. Mm. It does yeah. become too it's hard. Already, it's already hard. built in with them now. Mm. It's mentally as well. Mm. It's a big. It's a big game. Like I said, it's what you invest. Like I said, you invest good vibes, good energy. It, it shows. Mm. You invest negative energy. It shows as well. Yeah, so let's talk about MWE uh, removal, like, ear wax removal. I can't say it, man. <laughs> don't do it today, man. We don't have a four takes in it, but I can't say it, man. <laughs> It's fine, yeah, yeah, man. Like, sure. It's a tongue twisted. It's how yeah, yeah. Yeah, so much. Like I said, it's it, it, since 2020, September 2020, well, yeah, two yeah. years ago. Well, now. Let me tell you, right? So it's M- MW earwax, earwax removal. Yeah. yeah. So when, when it comes to earwax removal, now back in 2020, September 2020, mm. two years from uh, now, they actually cut it, they cut the funding for earwax okay. removal. So mm. before that, a lot of hospital, a lot of surgeries were still doing it. Okay, yeah, so uh, they offered that service. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So they were using a, a procedure which was, it's fairly dated now. So they use syringe, mm. uh, which they, well, they use yeah, syringe. They shove all the water in. Water and, and flush yeah. the water out. And when you came yourself, yeah, I yeah. explained how the different, how it different. So mm. the procedure which we no, I've had that before though. The syringe. Because like, yeah, yeah. I had ear sheets and I was a kid. How were you years, saying? That was horrible, man. Yeah, yeah. Like, your yeah. one's way better. If I'm honest, yeah, like, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. And see, what I, I've always said it as well mm. uh, is that with uh, syringing, you're taking a risk. Yeah, yeah, the risk is high because mm. you're you're hoping for the best. Mm. Whereas when you got my, when you do microsuction, you're wearing your head loops, you're wearing you're using your endoscopic camera, mm. and you're you're fi- with with the tip, you got a good view of the ear canal, mm. and you're taking the wax out carefully and comfortably. A lot of the time, like I say, with the, with the flushing the water, you're hoping for the best. You're yeah, putting exactly. the water in the water pressure to get yeah, it all out. Yeah, yeah. That's why the risk is a lot higher. Mm. You Plus, it's a, painful as well. Exactly, and mm. there's a gap in the market now. The demand for earwax removal, like I said, earwax isn't something that you can create yourself or get mm. uh, create yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's or it's a it's a body bodily process. Yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's, it's a deposition. Be, so with with earwax uh, mm. production, it has two main functions. The first one being protection of the ear canal mm. from foreign objects, foreign bodies. Anything yeah. that should have been the ears. Yeah, like a type of mucus in it, basically. Hundred yeah. percent. Uh, so it's it's like a, uh, or a, you have a mix of a serum and some keratin and okay. oil, oil as well. So mm. it kind of. Like, yeah, it's like a combination yeah yeah. yeah yeah and a second one is obviously to lubricate the ear canal mm. which gives the lubrication yeah, properties, yeah. as you said now when there's an overproduction the need to remove it is greater mm. understand the ears generally clean themselves uh using what we call the tear migration so the ear the movement of the drum okay. kind of pushes the wax out if it's yeah, yeah. If fre- especially the freshly produced wax yeah, yeah. that's why we say don't use earbuds mm. so big no don't use earbuds okay when you use the earbuds the risk of damage it's high also you're just pushing the wax that's ready to come out you're oh. pushing it back in okay hence why yeah, the, build, yeah, yeah, the yeah. likelihood of building yeah, yeah. is quite high oh, it's like when you pick the nose and you just like hold it in and, yeah, exactly yeah. Okay. that's something you don't want to do like, like you need to blow your in instead of just forcing get it out exactly yeah. you literally like, it's like you're going to push your nose and yeah, exactly. push it back up you're yeah, not going to because what you're making you're, slotting, you're blocking mm. it all up again yeah, yeah. yourself yeah it's the same so, thing yeah, yeah. 100% so that's for me that was the biggest drive and when i thought to myself you know what there's the demand is fairly high there's people that still need it why am i just wasting time mm. why don't i do something about it mm. myself and alhamdulillah the response has been quite good i think Mashallah, seeing Mashallah. uh patients from different backgrounds uh different like i said yeah. uh, full age groups and you realize you know it, it it makes you realize, Alhamdulillah, if we still we've still got good functioning ears, uh, we haven't got problems with backs. We should be grateful. You understand? It's a blessing in disguise. Mm. Like I said, we can go around all day listening, but do we ever sit back and reflect on? Yeah. We've got two More, ears, yeah, two eyes, yeah, our blessings, we've got two feet. Mm. We're working, we're breathing, mm. we're waking up the next morning. Yeah, we're able to sleep at yeah, night. That's the biggest sand. blessing, man. That's the biggest blessing. You know, monetarily, yes, financially, mm. you know, we'll have some, but the biggest blessings forget anything else. If mm. we weren't breathing today, none of that would mean anything. Exactly, to us. yeah, 100%. So, as a business, Alhamdulillah, for me, it's more of helping the population, mm. how to take the pressure off them, especially with the national health as well. Probably appreciate. It's struggling to even get a doctor's appointment, mm. and if you're lucky, you'll see a, you get a phone call. 
And yeah, yeah, 100%, man, yeah, yeah. So, Especially, you know, the GP as well, man. It's like, you're never going to get appointments. 100%. Yeah, it's, you're it's, there all day. I, I, honestly, I've had a lot of patients that I've seen fairly recently who've come to me and said, well, we've got in touch with the doctor, we've got through. And they're making this wait 12 mm. months, 18 months. And you think, well, the demand is fairly high. Then. Mm. It's crazy. Out there, if people are waiting that long for an appointment... A lot of clinics are back to back, especially with you look at some of the private uh, services as well that are places that are offering it. You ask them about their clinic waiting times, and they'll tell you what our clinic waiting times are not yeah. for the next couple of months mm. or three months. So it's, it's something which the population needs is always going to be a problem. And like I said, the, the, the only thing I'd recommend to all my patients, to anyone uh, who's looking at worried about the ears, is don't put anything in your ears. Don't try these hopey candles, these cheap fixes, these mm. one, two quid, fancy looking earbuds, twisty spoils you get from eBay, Amazon. Yeah. They're just fancy cotton buds. Mm. Yeah, they'll make problems worse. If you're having any problems with your ears, see a professional. Mm. Whether it's you choose to come to me, that's different. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when it's health related, mm. let the leave yeah. it in a professional's hand. Yeah. No, that is, but I can talk from experience, isn't it? That's the best thing I ever did, man. Because yeah, I, I was delaying you for, but I told you, I, I, did, you I delayed you for like two, three I weeks. I was like, you should have yeah, just yeah. come to me. Bro. Yeah, yeah, I should have gone to you straight away, man. Because <laughs> I thought, like, because obviously I went to um, the clinic first, like yeah, the GP. Yeah. And then they go to me, oh, like, take some tablets, and it'd be all right. And then I was like, yeah, bang on, it'd be all right. They, they were saying the same thing that you're saying, they're like, the ear would naturally flush you out. But you were happening because it was that big, and you were it was too much, innit? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what I appreciate. Show you, man. Yeah, yeah they helped a lot. That's from my own experience, but that's not the only service you provide, no. So uh, yeah. at the moment, you, you talk to us about the services. So yeah, so in terms of services provide, so at the moment is uh, focusing primarily on the general ear consultations mm. uh, and uh, wax removal. But uh, in the coming months, inshallah, you'll see there'll be uh, quite a big inshallah. development coming forward in terms of uh, balance clinic, uh, tinnitus clinics as well, mm. uh, tinnitus rehab. And also uh, hearing tests as well. Mm, so it's all inshallah. work in progress, uh, slowly but surely. Like I said, all based on response demand as well. Mm. Especially being a medical uh, sort of pathway, is there's a lot to do behind the scenes uh, that you have to make sure you get the go ahead for as well. So yeah, yeah. it's definitely uh, mm. work in progress, and you'll see within the next few months, uh, coming months, there'll be a big change, and there'll mm. be a great, uh, there'll be a great. Uh, uh, demand not with the demand and also uh, there'll be more services available to patients mm. uh, who can self-refer themselves as well so they don't need uh, doctor referrals they can mm. come self and self-refer mm. uh, yep. so uh, what's the contact number so uh, the, and your address that just give all so the, 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 the contact details so you can visit us at the clinic is 524 Baywood Road uh, so we're based in Baywood mm. uh, postcode B664BX uh, like I said uh, any email inquiry, inquiry inquiries mweox at gmail.com mm. like I said we see uh, all patients of all ages uh, as long as there's no uh, ongoing ENT uh, treatment mm. or they're not under the ENT I'm happy to see them again any inquiries get in touch mm. uh, always happy to give advice and again, availability bookings. We also offer a uh, home appointment for those who are not mobile enough to get mm. out to the clinic. So, yeah, there's yeah, options so are yeah, yeah, available. Yeah, yeah. They cover try, the basis. Try cover. Mm. And like I said, the, the, with home appointments, I try my best to uh, cater for the. It's a big uh, uh, geographical area. So, mm. I would say most of the West Midlands. Okay. So oh, West Midlands, I'm Birmingham. Midlands. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, like I say, it all just depends on the need as well. Mm. So, Southampton, South Gassier. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a big boost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but it's good though. It's yeah, good. No, good. No, it's good. Yeah, yeah. The they provide you like the big access in it. So, if anyone got any. Yeah, issues or problems that can get in get touch. touch definitely. Like I said, I've been to you myself, man. Different, hundred uh, yeah. percent. And like I said, is is just avoid anything, uh, any cotton buds, Q tips, mm. uh, these fancy yeah, yeah. looking earbuds, these self removal kits. They don't mm. work. And a big advice as well is with remember when you're using olive oil, when you're okay. using old text, yeah, yeah. it's not necessarily made to clear all your wax. It's mm. made to soften the wax. Okay. That's the biggest misconception a lot of mm. people have, especially patients where they think it's going to magically remove the wax. It doesn't, it's not always the case. Mm. Majority of the time, it will just soften the wax 
and then you need a professional to remove the wax. Mm. <laughs> you get it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because you told me that as well. Yeah, because remember, I was using olive oil. Exactly, yeah, but you use it. Like, so yeah, yeah. As a minimum uh, for yourself, yeah, yeah. at least once a month, every few mm. weeks, just put a couple of drops of olive oil in yeah, yeah, the wax yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Mm. It's, there's no harm with natural yeah, olive oil. Yeah. You don't need old text. Old text is a bit aggressive. How it works. Stick with the olive mm. oil. Mm. You should do the job. Yeah, like I said, need more uh, e-advice in it. Yeah, get an email and get a Bedford in it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Repeat the postcode again. It's uh, 524 Bearwood Road. Uh, Bearwood B66 4BX. Mm. 4BX, yeah, yeah. Yep. MWEWAX at gmail.com. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you one more time. MWEWAX removal, innit? Yeah. That's Got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Removal. I appreciate you coming on the podcast, man. <laughs> thank you, Thank you for having me, man. Thank you. Thank you.